Today we are gonna actually use the equipment that we built in our last video. Uh, we do have, once again, our hot liquor tank. Our mash tun and then our kettle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mash in our grains. You've already got your recipe. You know how much strike water you're using. Strike water is the, the temperature of the water that you're going in at. You're probably gonna go in about 10 degrees higher than what you want because the grains will cool them. We're gonna be mashing in at 162, but the grains are gonna bring it down to 152. Mashing in is simply us taking the grains, putting them in the mash tun, and then adding that hot strike water. Uh, while we're doing so, we're gonna have to stir. If not, you end up with dry clumps inside, and that's no good. You don't get the sugars off those grains that you want. We're gonna do it slowly. It'll take us between 10 and 20 minutes to get that liquid in. Uh, but then we're probably gonna let it sit for about an hour. Okay. I'm gonna start with a little bit of water in first. So I can start to stir. You're gonna actually move in at the same time. Go ahead, as you can see. You can see that we're slowly putting the grains in so that we don't get any of those clumps that Justin mentioned earlier. You're probably asking how much water do we actually wanna put into this. Uh, it will say on your recipe, for five gallons, you typically you're gonna use around 10 gallons total water. So before we close this up, we're gonna run some of the liquid out and you'll see why in just one second. What we're gonna do is some of the grains probably got below the false bottom. All we do is we pour it back over the top of the mash. We'll do this two or three times just to make sure it comes out clear. Each time you should have a little less grain and there you go. You'll see that it's nice and clear. Pour it back over and now we'll put the lid on. One quart of water per pound of grain is your loss. So what we're gonna do next is let this sit for an hour. It's gonna steep and get all those sugars off the grain. These coolers uh, can lose about one, temp one degree of temperature per hour. So once you close it up, you're pretty good. So now we're just gonna start our timer. Time to sparge? It's time to sparge. What we do is we're gonna hook up the sparge arm to our hot liquor tank again. The temperature of the water is gonna be increased by about 10 degrees. So we're gonna be sparging at 162. The mash was at 152. And what we're doing is we're rinsing this hot water over these grains as the same time we're pouring out. So we're gonna adjust the flow rate using our ball valve to make sure that there's just enough water over the grain bed so that it can clear out. We also wanna make sure that we adjust the height of the sparge arm so that clearly it's not going down into the grains. Do not stir your grains, do not disturb them. They have made a grain bed which has actually interlocked so that all the grains can get through the liquid. You wanna start the mash out? I am going to start this guy. So ultimately what you're looking to do is make sure you have relatively the same amount of, same level of liquid. So if we start filling up too much here, we either need to slow down at the uh, hot liquor tank or we need to speed up coming out of the mash tun. But ultimately, the slower, the better. The longer it takes, the better it is because we will be getting more sugars out of it. I feel like I'm sitting next to a stream. The rule is don't look down in the bathroom. What I'm doing now is slowing down the sparge because I'm catching up with the mash out. We just want to keep this clean water right above the grain bed. About an inch above is, is standard. Yes. Now we're getting a little low. I'll open it up a little and catch up. Okay, we're getting to the end of our sparge. As you can see, that last bit of liquid is going through the grain bed, getting the last bit of sugars through it. Take it and boil it. Boil it, add your hops. You know, from here, if you don't know those processes, we do have other videos right down here that will take you to our beginner homebrew class. 
we'll take you through the steps of boil and hop and all that. So check those videos out. And always guys, please subscribe. We've got some great uh, new videos coming up. Yeast washing, yeast harvesting, brew in a bag because this is not the only way to do all grain. So our next, some of our new videos are gonna be about those. All right, uh, why don't you get to making some beer now? Yeah, get out of here.